Hi guys, it's Hippo Plays. Thanks for tuning in. I'm just doing a quick instructional video today. Uh, this is purely um, because it's something that I wanted to do, and I thought, well, why not document it while I'm doing it? Um, what I'm trying to do is uh, be able to change the batteries in my Mobius Action Cams uh, quickly and easily. Um, they last about two hours, which is plenty for uh, um, individual games uh, or even a couple of games, but. The downside is, is that once the batteries have gone flat, unless you've got a way of charging them back up again, um, you, you then don't have any cameras unless you have multiple cameras. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, make the battery um, easily accessible without the use of tools, although I'm going to be using tools now. Um, but it means you'll be able to change a battery when you're out in the field, um, or at least in the safe zone, without too much bother. Uh, there's a few bits and bobs that you need to do this. Obviously, you're going to need yourself an action cam. This is my uh, head cam, this one is, so it's got the standard lens. I also have my scope cam, where I've fitted a 25mm um, board cut lens. Um, and this uh, gives me uh, the optical zoom um, that's uh, good enough to be able to actually pick out the BB when you're shooting those longer range shots. Um, I do recommend that you do put in a... Uh, a different lens if you are going to be using a scope cam um, and I also massively recommend that you use a scope cam um, when doing SF videos because without them no one can see what you're shooting at. But anyway, um, uh, the, the board lens is a piece of cake to change, I'll talk a little bit about that when we're going through the video once we've opened up the camera. Um, but anyway, so yeah, you need a camera, you need a uh, connector extendery jobby robby, um, I'll put a link to where I got this from. Um, I'm going to put up some UK links, uh, Brain Exploder on his video, which is very similar to this, although better produced and neater and tidier and much better. Um, the link he put up to these was for, for the US, and although the, in the UK we could use that, um, it, it would take much longer to get to us. Uh, and also you need uh, some replacement batteries. Um, these again, piss cheap. Um, uh, the, the cameras what cost what the cameras cost. I think two of these was about three, four pounds. Um, these were four pounds each, um, or thereabouts. So it's not an expensive thing to do, um, but it does mean that you can have gameplay for the whole day um, caught on camera. Um, especially if you're using larger memory cards, then uh, it means that you're not likely to miss out on that awesome shot that that you never thought you'd make um, at the end of the day because you've just run out of, of uh, battery in uh, in your um, cameras. Anyway, um, without further ado, let's crack on with this. Some other little tools and bits that you're going to need throughout. You're going to need a Dremel, going to need a file, um, possibly a knife, um, and some pliers or whatever. Uh, the uh, battery comes with a handy little screwdriver, um, which allows you to get into the camera easily. And yeah, cool beans. Right, let's crack on. Okay, first of all, what we're going to do is going to open up the camera. And you've got two little screws, one on this side here. Just loosen that off. Try not to put too much force on any of this because it's only plastic and if you uh, rip it, you'll break it. Anyway, um, so I'll just loosen them off. I'm hope hoping that's going to be enough. Uh, and this should peel up here. There we go. And then just pop off the back. It's only held on by those clips at the back. I don't know if you can see them or not. Um, and as you can see, that just comes off. And this is the bit that we're going to be modifying. So we're going to put that there. And then you've got the camera here as well. There's the original battery. Um, these are the, uh, I think the Mark II, so they've got the extended batteries in them already. So it's 820 milliamp hours, um, which is quite handy. These are actually stuck in with just a little bit of um, uh, uh, sticky stick stick stuff. Um, so without piercing the battery or putting too much force on it, I'm just peeling that off um, just to reveal um, that little sticky thing. I'm going to peel that off because I don't want them that on it uh, when i put this back together again because it's going to stop me being able to change the battery because the battery will stick inside it. So anyway, I'm just peeling that off now. I hope the camera angles are okay on this. Um, it's hard to tell. I probably should have set it up first. Um, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to detach this battery. Um, and that's done here. And just grab the lips. There we go. That's out. Okay, just put that battery to one side for the moment. 
Okay, earlier on I mentioned um, uh, about changing the lens. It's absolute piece of cake to do the lens changes. Um, there are YouTubers out there that uh, are selling um, pre-modified cameras. Uh, it's up to you, it depends how technical you are, but it is really easy to do yourself. Um, you just got to be sensible when you're doing it. Um, when you buy your board cut lens, it will probably come with an Allen key um, or, or whatever. If it doesn't, just make sure you've got some small Allen keys. And down there, I don't know if you can see it, um, just there is, is a, a, a little grub screw. So you just undo that with your Allen key and that should release the tension on, on the, the, the lens. Um, it's probably glued in as well, um, so to start with it's going to be a bit stiff to break that um, initial, initial bond. And what I did when I did mine was I put my fingers down on here to push it into the, um, into the frame here to stop it um, being flexible and, and wobbling and flopping all over the place. And then get a good grip on this and twist it. Um, you will have to put quite a bit of pressure on it. Uh, I believe actually when I did one of mine I needed pliers to do it and that will scratch up the paint on this. Uh, for me that wasn't an issue because... Uh, I wasn't planning on using that lens again, um, and it hasn't damaged the lens, it's just scratched up the paint on the side there, so that's not a problem. So you unscrew it all the way out, it comes all the way out, get your new lens, don't touch the sensor on the back of it at all, um, because you will uh, um, put a nice little fingerprint on all your videos, at least you'll say to put a watermark on anything, um, you'll know it's yours because it'll have your unique identifier, but don't do that. Um, screw in the lens, but what you want to do is um, set it up as a webcam, while you're screwing it in, uh, which you can do through the um, settings, uh, the, the uh, turn it over. You plug it into your your, your PC, um, and it will flash up automatically by itself and stuff to the File Explorer. Then click that button there, and that should turn it into a webcam. So then you open your webcam program up, you'll be able to see what's on there, um, and then uh, you can then just uh, twist this. Um, to fine tune the uh, focus um, to get the, the, the focus area where you want. Um, with, the, with these things, with the longer lenses, it is a little bit fiddly um, because you're not just winding all the way into the back and everything's hunky dory. Um, you, you have got to sort of line it up with, with a, the, I'd say go with the, the, the range that you on average shoot at. Um, it will mean that the slightly longer range shots will be slightly out of focus and the slightly closer range shots will be slightly out of focus but if you go with like the, the average shots that you're shooting at um, then uh, that should cover you um, as a best fit for everything. Um, and yeah once, you, once you've got it all focused in and you're happy with it you can uh, put the Allen the grub screw back in, tighten it up and uh, um, that will lock it in place. Um, what I use is, I don't like using um, Loctite for threads um, on things that come apart regularly um, I just use a bit of PVA glue um, and that uh, I put that on the threads and uh, let that set and that holds it in place but it's nice and easy to break and clean off and stuff like that so it doesn't cause any issues further down the line um, that's not necessarily the right thing to use but it works for me I'm happy with that anyway we're just going to put that to one side for the moment because we don't need that um, we've got this we've got this and we've got this um, the batteries they, they come with the, the, the lead tape like this which is, is brilliant because it keeps it out of the way and stuff like that um, but what it does is it restricts the amount of movement you've got so what we're going to do is we're going to just remove this bit of tape here and it adds just a little bit more extension to um, the, the cable that we've got which gives you the ability to um, manipulate things a little bit easier when you're uh, um, fitting the battery in and out okay um, so going back to this, what we want to do is you plug this into there and then this goes on to the end of the battery there um, and then you do a nice little warm fuzzy feeling test to make sure it's all working. Um, so anyway, let's uh, clip that in there. And... Uh, yeah, that way around. No, it's not it's that way around. There we go, that's in there. And quick turn it over. Turn it on. Yay, we've got power. It works. And there we go, recording. Hello, it's only me, Hippo Plays. Yee. And just turn it off, don't need it on. 
Okay, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to detach this now because we don't want that attached um, when we're putting it all together. Anyway, I'm just going to put that to one side so it doesn't get dust and crap in it. And then we're going to pick this up here. Okay, so what happens is the battery goes in here like this um, and the, the cable feeds to the, the other cable. Um, all nice and neat and tidy. So what we have to do is we have to cut a hole in the back here are using the Dremel um, but being careful not to remove the structural integrity see these clips here at the back here these um, are what hold it at the upper onto the lower at the back and um, with the screws holding it together at the front so you don't want to remove them um, and you want to take away just the bare minimum uh, to be able to get the battery in and out easily what I have found is that where these um, little slots are here you need to actually cut down to that level there and there and try and keep it as straight as you possibly can um, and you need to come forward a bit further than you imagine I mean I, I, I kind of hope to come only halfway which leaves just which would leave some of the battery tucked into the un, underneath the cover um, but what I find is that you can't leave the battery in and out easily um, and being lipos you don't really want to be putting any unnecessary force on them certainly don't want to be putting um, sharp implements um, in them to wedge them up and down uh, particularly without risking damaging them um, and causing a fire or whatever okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark this up roughly um, it's uh, it's purely just so that we can see sort of where we're going with the Dremel um, and so if I stick that on there like that what we're doing is going across there like that and we're going from there all the way along there look at this technical drawing eh Till I'm an engineer and again all the way along there up to there and across the back here will be just across there like that all right it's just rough just so so when you when you've got your Dremel out um, you, you you can sort of go with some rough guidelines and I don't know if you can see that on the camera that sort of reflects a little bit um, and yeah so what we're going to do is we're just going to cut this bit off okay so I'm going to um, scoot off over to my Dremel um, and we're going to get chopping be right back and we're at the Dremel worktop here um, yeah ignore the mess I'm a bit of a um, uh, yeah <laughs> enough said um, anyway so what you need is your cutting disc decent Dremel um, thing that you're going to chop some safety goggles and um, power um, yeah don't do it in your kitchen um, especially not if it's not your kitchen it's your mum's or whatever uh, she'll go spaz as you can see you get swarf and crap all over the worktop um, and yeah parents don't like that sort of thing um, it's my house so I can do what I like anyway, goggles on um, you need these quite fast and because it's designed for cutting metal, um, what happens is it, it just effectively it melts these into submission, um, and the blade will eventually coat up with uh, with with plast molten plastic, and uh, it becomes pretty much useless until you clean it off. Um, but yeah, I mean, as, as long as you're um, sort of slightly mechanically sympathetic, um, this is a piece of cake job. I just want it noted though, the only reason I've ever destroyed Dremels in the past, and I've destroyed several of them, was through cutting plastic. Um, cutting metal, these things are absolutely amazing, uh, but plastic they are, uh, they, they can have issues, um, because people like me sometimes want things done a bit faster than you should do. Um, yeah, it was entirely my fault, uh, but yeah, um, just have some mechanical sympathy, and here we go, let's get some speed on it, and make our first cut. Do be careful with your fingers, these things will slide through skin like it's just not there. Probably should be wearing gloves if I was setting the right example, but actually I feel safer doing it without them because you have the dexterity and when you're working this close with the blade, if your glove gets caught in it that's going to suck your finger in.
Yeah. As the actress said to the bishop. Right, okay, you see all the swarf there, it's, it's just basically melted the metal. Um, so this will just pop off, that's fine. Um, and then you've got this, uh, where you've got all the swarf all around it. And you can pick off that mostly. Um, that's not a problem. But what you want to do is tidy it up a little bit. And we'll do that with a uh, hand file. Um, the hand file I've got is a bit of a beast for this sort of thing, but it does the job very quickly, which is just perfect for a YouTube video. Um, anyway, be right back. So what we're going to do is um, just tidy this up a little bit. Um, it's not too bad, actually. I've pulled most of the swarf off. Uh, I'm just going to uh, just give it a little bit of a clean-up, get rid of the burrs. Doesn't need much. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Yeah, that should be okay. If you look on the back here, I'm hoping you can see that okay. Um, still got these lugs here, so this is good. Um, I have actually taken a bit more than I, I wanted off the sides, but it might be okay still. It's nice and neat though, So, and if it's neat then it should have some kind of strength to it. Um, no jags or anything like that that can get caught on stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean that, that's okay. Uh, so what we want to do now is just do a quick fit test just to see how uh, it goes together. So make sure that the wire comes through there and then you're pulling it back there, fit it down there and... There we go. And once that's down there, get the screwdriver, tighten it up these. Don't like tighten them tight tight. It's just plastic. Remember that they're going into and they will strip it if you're not careful, um, which will mean that then you'll have to uh, um, put some bolts through or something like that to uh, hold it all together. Um, okay, so what we've got is got that there, and we've already um, taken the tape off that battery there to make it a little bit more um, move around or able. Um, lovely words, technical stuff and things. Anyway, uh, so let's uh, uh, fit back there. So that fits there nicely. Um, Again, to just plug the cable in together, if I can see, yeah, that way around. Okay, um, and then this can push forward a little bit, um, and then without making too many kinks or whatever, causing too many um, pinch points, that can all go that like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the the the, the mount. And um, whether you use like the 3D printed ones from Brain Exploder or um, some of the other suppliers, um, or whether you use uh, the original Mobius mounts, um, doesn't really matter. Um, but they hold this thing all together nicely. Um, I'm just going to try and poke that in there a little bit better. There we go. Um, it's not as neat fitted as I would do in real life, but it'll do. Uh, this is how I mount my camera on my uh, on my hat. Um, there are proper mounts that have been designed. Uh, again, Brain Exploder has done some nice stuff. Um, I just use the original mount here um, with a little bit of foam to get the angle of dangle right. It looks wonky as hell on this cap. Um, but that's because my head's wonky, really. Um, most of my footage does tend to come out pointing in the right direction, so I just think I've got a freakish shaped head. Um, so what you've got there, don't, don't pinch them on any of these bits here. So if you put it on there like that, and then just push it down there. There you go. That should hold that all in place nicely and clicks into place. There we go. All sorted. All the wires lovely and hidden. Um, yep, so uh, we're all, all happy and hunky dory. Um, that's good to go. Uh, and then we've got a quick test. Power on. And we're recording now. Whee! <laughs> Alright guys, um, thanks for watching, uh, I do hope that was informative, helpful and stuff and you uh, feel that it was something worth watching and yeah. Uh, I'm not going to do a video on changing the lenses and stuff like that, I might do one in the future. Uh, mainly just because this is focused and I don't want to uh, fuck it up. Um, 
there are quite a few other videos out there um, showing how to do that. Just as there, there was a video out there showing you how to do what I've just done. Um, I just wanted to show you that it's a dead simple thing to do. Piece of cake, happy days, um, and then you've got an extended battery capability for your Mobius camera. There are other other options. Um, you can uh, uh, you can actually plug in a lead to to here and then have an external power source. Uh, I don't like that mainly because um, on, on my baseball cap that would add extra weight and uh, um, well just extra crap on my hat um, which I, I wouldn't want um, and on the gun it would mean I wouldn't be able to interchange the cameras um, but between uh, the, the, my, my sniper and my AEG if switching to a sidearm uh, but as you can see with uh, another option of a 3D imprinted mount I um, can't remember who did this one um, but it came up shapeways uh, and then that will just sit in there like that hunky dory all good to go sweet pucker all right guys um yeah if you like the video please like it um if you found it useful uh please share it on any forums you go on uh, others might well find it useful too um and uh, stick a comment down if you feel like saying hello or stuff or whatever um yeah um take care guys catch you next video bye